Hello everyone, in this lesson we'll be discussing the sum and difference formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. And to apply these sum and difference formulas to verify identities. Let's begin with the sine formulas. Sine formula says that the sine of two angles, u plus v, so the sine of u plus v, is equal to sine of u cosine of v plus cosine of u sine of v. The sine of u minus v is equal to sine of u cosine of v minus cosine of u sine of v. Now, in order to remember these, what might help is that if we have a u plus v, on the left side, there will be a plus sign between the terms on the right side. And we have a, a u minus v on the left side, there will be a minus sign between the terms on the right side. Let us look at the cosine formulas. Cosine of u plus v is equal to cosine u minus, no, cosine u, cosine v, minus sine of u sine of v and cosine of u minus v is equal to cosine of u cosine of v plus sine of u sine of v notice with the cosine formulas if you have a plus on the left side u plus v then you will have a minus between the terms on the right side and if you have a minus between the terms on the left side, u minus v, then you will have a plus on the right side between the terms, plus sign. Let us look at the tangent formulas. Tangent of u plus v is equal to tan u plus tan v all over 1 minus tan u tan v and tan of u minus v is equal to tan of u minus tan of v over 1 plus tan u tan v. Now notice if you have a plus between the u and v on the left side of the tan formula then you will have a plus in the numerator between the terms on the right side and a minus between the terms on the right side in the denominator. If you have a minus u plus v on the left side, then you will have a minus in the numerator of the terms on the right side and a plus in the denominator of the terms on the right side. Let's look at some quick examples. We can write some angles as some or differences of angles that we already know the trig values of. Some values that we know or we should know the trig values of are 0, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees, and the corresponding angles related to them around the unit circle. So, if we wanted to find the sine of 75 degrees, then from angles we already know, 45 degrees plus 30 degrees, if you add 45 and 30, you get 75. So we can use our knowledge of the sines of 45 and 30 to find the sine of 75 by doing the sine addition. So the sine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees would be the sine of 45 degrees cosine 30 degrees plus the cosine of 40 degrees sine of 30 degrees and this will be equal to radical 2 times radical 3 over 2 plus radical 2 over 2 times 1 over 2 and this will give us radical 6 plus radical 2 over 4. Likewise we wanted to find the sine of the 15 degrees the sine of 15 degrees 
the same as 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So that's a sine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. So that would be sine 45 degrees cosine 30 degrees minus cosine 40 degrees sine 30 degrees be equal to radical 2 over 2. And it's radical 3 over 2 minus radical 2 over 2 times 1 half. And that will result in radical 6 minus radical 2 all over 4. The cosine of 75 degrees will be the cosine of 45 degrees plus 30 degrees equals cosine of 40 degrees times cosine of 30 degrees minus sine of 45 degrees times sine of 30 degrees equals radical 2 over 2 times radical 3 over 2 minus radical 2 over 2 times 1 half and that will give you radical 6 minus radical 2 over 4. Finally, the cosine of 15 degrees minus will be equal to the cosine of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees because 45 minus 30 gives us 15. Applying our formula, this will become cosine of 45 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees plus the sine of 45 degrees times the sine of 30 degrees. That will be equal to radical 2 times radical 3 over 2 plus radical 2 over 2 times 1 half. And this will result in radical 6 plus radical 2 all over 4. Let's look at an example in radians. Find the exact value of sine of 11 pi over 12. An exact value of 11 pi over 12. So we know um, the sine of 3 pi over 4 and pi over 4. And so 11 so the sine of 11 pi over 12 we can get from the sine of pi over 4 so we're saying pi over 4 and 2 pi over 3 2 pi over 3 right because if you bring it on pi over 4 um, into 12 what we will have is 3 pi over 12 3 pi over 12 3 pi over 12 and then 2 pi over 3 will be the same as 8 pi over 12 3 pi over 12 plus 8 pi over 12 equals 11 pi over 12 right 11 pi over 12 pi over 12 All right, that's what we're looking for so then the sine of 11 pi over 12 is the same as the sine of, okay, a sine addition we're going to use the sine of pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 3. And then applying this to our sine addition, we're going to have the sine of the first, which is sine of pi over 4, times the cosine of the second, it's the cosine of 2 pi over 3. Then we bring this plus right here, and then that's going to be the cosine of the first, which is pi over 4, times the sine of the second, which is sine of 2 pi over 3. Okay. Now let's plug in what we know. The sine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2. The cosine of 2 pi over 3 was negative 1 half. Then the, that's going to be plus. Cosine of pi over 4 is radical 2 over 2. I'm going to use parentheses here. And then the sine of 2 pi over 3 is radical 3 over 2. Let's continue working this down. This side will be equal to negative radical 2 over 4 and plus radical 6 over 4. And we write that final as radical 6 minus radical 2 over 4. And that is our answer. And we're done. Okay. Now, next one, find the exact value of 7 pi over 12. 
cosine of 7 pi over 12. So the cosine of 7 pi over 12. And we're given a hint that we should use pi over 3 and pi over 4. It's going to, so that's going to be the cosine of pi over 3 plus pi over 4. Because if aside, if you did pi over 3, it was going to be equal to for pi over 12. And pi over 4 would be 3 pi over 12. And so if you added the 4 and the 3 together, you got 7 pi, 7 pi over 12. All right. So let's do this. Let's go to our cosine addition. And so when you do our cosine addition, cosine of u plus v, it's going to be the cosine of the first, so that's cosine of pi over 3, times cosine of pi over 4, minus, because I had a plus here, you're going to be minusing the sine of the first, which is pi over 3, times the sine of pi over 4. Okay, so let's do it. Cosine of pi over 3 was 1 half. Cosine of pi over 4 was radical 2 over 2. Minus the sine of pi over 3, which was radical 3 over 2. The sine of pi over 4, which is radical 2 over 2. So this will be equal to radical 2 over 4 minus radical 6 over 4. So this gives you radical 2 minus radical 6 all over 4. And we're done. Alrighty. Let's do another example. Let's turn the other way around. Find the exact value of the expression sine of 25 degrees cosine 35 degrees plus cosine of 25 degrees, sine of 35 degrees. Now this looks like a sine addition. So it looks like a sine addition. So let's try a sine addition with it. it. Looks like sine addition. And so 25 and 35 uh, gives you 60 degrees, so this is going to be equal to um, the sine of 25 degrees plus 35 degrees. It's going to be equal to the sine of 60 degrees. As we all know, that's radical 3 over 2. Radical 3 over 2, and we're done. Okay, so that's the answer. So your problem there was to figure out was a, a sine addition or a cosine or whatever it was. Okay, next we ask to find the exact value of cos alpha minus beta given that sine alpha is equal to negative four fifth and cos beta is equal to negative 